Hey everybody, welcome back to Sovereign Money. I'm your host, Mike. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to buy your very first Bitcoin. Now, there's a million ways to Sunday to buy Bitcoin on the internet. And some of them are really complicated. So we're not gonna start with that. We're gonna start with the easiest way that I found possible. And it's through a site called Swan Bitcoin. Swan Bitcoin is a Bitcoin only exchange. That is, they don't sell any other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum or Chainlink or Solana or any dog coin or any of that stuff, just Bitcoin. So. If you want to get started in Bitcoin, it's a great place to start accumulating Bitcoin. So that's what we're going to walk through today, Swan Bitcoin. And before we do that, you need to know that anything I tell you in this video should not represent financial advice. I am not a financial advisor or an accountant. You can do whatever you want to do with your money. After all, I'm just a guy on YouTube. So let's get to it. Here we are on the homepage for Swan Bitcoin. There it is. And there's the menu up here, a login button and a get started button to register. So I'll just give you a little tour of the site real quick. If you wanted to start registering, you can just enter your email and click that. Otherwise, uh, let's take a look around. So some of the highlights of Swan Bitcoin are you can buy Bitcoin instantly when you hook up your bank. You can set up a recurring purchase, which is really neat. It's called dollar cost averaging, where you buy Bitcoin daily, weekly, monthly, whatever schedule you want. And you can set amounts as small as you want, I think. Anyway, we'll take a look at that inside the app. The fees for Swan Bitcoin are basically 1%. And that's a pretty reasonable fee. They don't have any fees to hold Bitcoin. They don't have any fees to withdraw your Bitcoin and they don't have any other fees associated with your account at all. So when you buy Bitcoin, you do pay a 1% fee to Swan. Otherwise, no fees. And withdrawals, you can see here, are free. They do have an IRA available if you want to get into saving Bitcoin in your IRA in a tax advantage way. I'm assuming it does, yes, traditional and Roth IRAs. They have a private area for high net worth individuals and trusts. They have a business related area if you want to get Bitcoin into your business treasury. You can talk to a Swan advisor and they offer custody services for large customers and large amounts of Bitcoin. And those areas are also available up here. But there is one thing I wanted to show you really quick, and that is the retirement section. And this is where you can open an IRA. And what I wanted to show you was this neat savings chart here. If you put in some number, let's put in some numbers here. Well, let's start with the default numbers. 35 year old IRA balance is 100,000. This person contributes 6,500 a year and their expected allocation to Bitcoin is 20%. Let's be bullish on the return. That's a 20% Bitcoin return and a 10% stock return. With that scenario, starting at age 35 and going to age 65, the person who is saving in this IRA would have 9.5 million dollars, presumably, with a big a 20% allocation to Bitcoin. Without Bitcoin, they'd have a healthy three million dollars. So that's good. Now let's be silly. Let's take this to 25 years old. IRA balance of 100,000, 6,500 annually. Again, this is an IRA, so there are some saving limits. My allocation to Bitcoin. Let's just let's just go all in on Bitcoin, on this IRA. Again, we're gonna use bullish returns. <laughs> and, and you ready? Drum roll, please. Your IRA value with 100% Bitcoin at a 20% annual return with 6,500 contributions annually would only be $204 million. I'm not sure how they get those numbers, but that's what they got. So that's pretty special. I wouldn't mind to have my 204 million in my IRA. So you can do what you want to do there. Let's get back to the homepage. Now, in order to get started with registration, you click the get started button, enter your email. And from there you'll receive, you'll be sent to a page. It says, check your email. Once you get the email into your inbox, it'll come with a code here. Then you press the login button. It takes you back to Swan Bitcoin. You enter the code. 
and then you go through the registration process. They do have a registration for Americans and international people. Swan Bitcoin is available in multiple countries. I'm not sure what the list is, but it is available for other citizens. Okay, let's get back to Swan. Now, when you finish registration, and you log in, this is what you're going to be presented with. I have an account myself, so I can't show you the registration process. So what we have here is two parts. We have the retirement part. I do not have an IRA with Swan and your personal account. So let's check out the personal account. I happen to have some Bitcoin in here, $9.78 worth. Yes. So let's take a little tour. If you want to show your Bitcoin balance in sats, which is short for Satoshis, if you take the decimal point and move it to the right, eight spaces, you get Satoshis. It looks pretty cool. I like 22,000 better than 0. 0.0000. So I feel more wealthy that way. Let's leave it there. In the withdrawal section, if you have any Bitcoin awaiting unlock. Now, what does that mean? When you purchase Bitcoin, here's the page here. When you purchase Bitcoin, Swan Bitcoin makes you wait a certain amount of time before you're able to withdraw it into your own custody, which they really encourage. And I encourage you to do that as well. So if you use a wire transfer to fund your account, you only have to wait 24 hours and direct deposit if you have uh, want to put your paycheck in there. Any Bitcoin deposits, you only have to wait 24 hours to get them back out and referral codes. If you use ACH to make a Bitcoin purchase on Swan Bitcoin and you use less than $2,500, you have to wait 10 days before you can withdraw that Bitcoin. If you use ACH and larger than $2,500, you have to wait a whole 30 days. That's a lot, but that's their policy. 10 days for longstanding customers. Customers, I'm not sure what longstanding customers are. And any recurring purchases, again, have a certain length of time that you need to wait to withdraw the coins. Back to withdraws. And next section is deposits. What amount of money is waiting in your account to be used for purchases? I don't have anything in there. Gifts. Okay. Gifts. This is a really neat part of the site. So you can give Bitcoin as a gift to anyone using their email address. It says here, create your gift, send your gift, and when the gift is accepted, you'll get a notification. It's really neat to send, be able to send Bitcoin to anyone. You do not have to use their phone number and send a standard amount, 100, 250, 500, whatever you want to put in here. I'm not sure what the limits are. Let's see. Ooh, I'd like to get that gift card. And then you set a date. Oh, it says here, gift cards up to 9,900. So there is a limit. So let's get rid of that. $50. Pick a date you'd like the gift to arrive and pick a theme, write a message and review gift details and then you can send it. Pretty cool. And then back to the dashboard and then below gifts, we see savings plans. So the savings plans are really cool. And I would, once you're comfortable with putting some money into Bitcoin and the whole ecosystem, I'd really recommend setting up a savings plan. So the savings plan works like this. You can just put in the dollar amount worth of Bitcoin and then the frequency of the purchases you'd like to set up. So $50 every week, press continue, plan updated. And then you, you choose your payment method, the checking account or your balance that you have on Swan if you have dollars on Swan. Back to savings. I'm not sure what the limits are here. Wow, $500 a day, <laughs> that would be great. And then you can just forget about it. Whatever number you're comfortable with, it just comes out of your checking account and that's it. Don't even have to think about it. It's really neat. Okay, one last area to review before we buy some Bitcoin and that is the settings area. There's, uh, we're at the home screen right now. This bank accounts area is where you're going to connect your bank account so that Swan can withdraw the money for your purchases, whether they're one at a time or regular set payments. And then user settings, including your phone number and all those other things, email address help center. And of course, this is where you log out. All right, let's buy some Bitcoin. So how do you buy Bitcoin using Swan? Just a regular purchase without a savings plan. You would click the buy now button. No, I don't want to buy $100. Let's try 25. Buy $25 worth of Bitcoin now. Approximate price, 42890 So Swan says that they don't use what's called a spread. That is, a lot of companies use a spread between the actual price that they buy the Bitcoin and the price that they sell you the Bitcoin. So if the Bitcoin price is 42500 they might sell it to you and say the price for Bitcoin is 43000 So they make the difference in that 
spread, the spread from the price they buy it and the price that you buy it from them. In addition to that, they also charge fees. So we already talked about there's approximately a 1% fee and there's a subtle spread because I'm looking right now, let's try, let's refresh this. It says 42,919. Well, I'm looking right now and the price of Bitcoin is 42,779. So there's a small $100 price spread that they have built in. It's subtle and I've seen really large price spreads on other exchanges. So this is not a big deal. And then, so whoops, I don't want to do $100. Let's do, let's do 20. Keep it conservative. We'll preview that purchase. $20. This is the amount of Bitcoin. This is the price. Again, that's about $150 over the current price. And so $20. It's going to come out of the checking account. And there's a fee of 1%, $20, 1%, 20 cents. So the total that's withdrawn is $20.20. Buy now. Done. That's super cool. Now let's refresh this here. Okay, we're back at the dashboard and I don't see anything here yet. It's the same number of sats we have there. And let's see if there's anything different. Oh, here it is. The total deposits is now $30 instead of 10. And otherwise there's nothing different. Oh, there it is. 46,000 sats settling. So. The purchase is going through and then once that settles, it'll show up in here and be one number and it'll show the dollar amount right here. Good stuff. That's about it. Congratulations. You bought your first Bitcoin. I'm super excited for you. So now what you can do once you have everything set up is you can set up a savings plan so that you invest a certain amount of money weekly, monthly, daily if you want and just forget about it. That way you can add Bitcoin to your savings plan and increase your returns dramatically. Thank you so much for watching this video. And in next week's video, I'm going to go through the same thing using a different exchange called Coinbase. All right, I'll see you then. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Bye now.